So what happened last week? Uh, we had the situation with Adam where during a scrim day there has been an altercation between himself and the head coach Stryker. Uh, unfortunately that altercation went a bit too far or actually went too far which uh, led us to avoid uh, letting them coming into contact for the following of the day. Some things were said in that altercation that we do not accept as an organization and uh, some tone was used that does not uh, respect what we are expecting from people working for BDS. So following the situation, the first thing uh, we took care of is uh, isolate Adam from the rest of the team and also directly offering him support in a quite complicated state of mind for himself. So we sat down with him uh, to have him calm down, also to have him being able to express his feelings, because uh, obviously it came to what happened because of some underlying uh, issues. So we took care of him first and uh, let the staff and the rest of the players have a chat together to also express what they felt, to also uh, speak about uh, the issue and the situation. After that, we talked together as a staff uh, with uh, Nico, our GM, with the whole staff, also with uh, our management in Geneva and uh, decided uh, what we wanted to do further. So the first thing we decided is to bench Adam uh, for the following day of Scream. Once uh, Adam was not part of the team for that weekend anymore, we knew that having Genax was actually a possibility for us and that bringing him from uh, our LFL office in Geneva to Berlin and straight incorporate him uh, in the in the LEC team would still give us a chance to win. Uh, in the end, it did not work. It was very close. But GenX has a tremendous amount of experience. Uh, long time LEC player, uh, long time uh, ERL players in, in Germany, now in France with us. So we strongly believe that bringing GenX still uh, gave us a chance to win. And it was almost the case. At PDS, we strongly believe that not a single individual is over the organization. So that's what we have put in place uh, in the past. That's what we're going to still believe in for the future. And this has been communicated very clearly with every single person that worked with us. Uh, in the last week, Adam decided to go against this core value of BDS, which led to some decision and punishment from our side. We had long discussion with Adam in, in the last few days and we decided to reintegrate, it, uh, reintegrate him for the spring split and going forward. He clearly showed uh, remorse for his behavior. He also clearly showed a will to be part of the organization, to be part of the LEC team with his teammate, with uh, his coaching staff. And uh, he showed being ready to do everything he can to make the team better, to make himself better, shall it be in-game, but also outside of it. So through all the discussions we had with him, we strongly believe that there has been some uh, conscious uh, reflection from his side that he wants to be part of this organization and he knows what it takes uh, to do it. And he only wants more success with us, which is exactly what we are looking for for the spring split. On Sunday, G2 is waiting uh, for the grand final 
for us, hopefully. Um, and I say hopefully because we have to face either Mad Lions or Fnatic. And that will be decided on uh, Friday, on Friday evening. So on Friday, Mad Lions and Fnatic play each other. We play the winner of this series. We are in a weird spot where a lot of teams are not screaming anymore in the LEC. Some of them did resume practice, but they don't plan on playing on the same patch as us. That's kind of tricky. Uh, I mean, at the moment, uh, I asked uh, this morning even for some evening block possibilities, and I told the boys that that was a possibility. So yeah, we, we do try to, to get a bit more, to squeeze a bit more out of the time that we have, because that's not the time where we should rest anymore, right? It, there is one week, uh, not even one week actually, and we have to we have to make sure that we are ready and to have no, no regrets. I do think that on this patch, the, the meta is pretty open and that you can, you can work with a lot of different compositions. Uh, I think the game in the, is in a fine state balance-wise if you exclude some, some champions that are um, a bit overtuned for competitive, but that's always the case in a, in a game like League, so that, that's all right. But overall, I think there is a lot of possibilities um, and I think that you can have important games coming from any role, basically, right now. And, and to answer the first part of the question, we, we do have some more spicy picks that we might, uh, we might use on Saturday slash Sunday, but we, we won't wait until Sunday. Well, for us, the game against Mad Lions is quite a disappointment. Uh, not because of how it went, but because based on the situation, still being that close of getting to the final uh, against G2 with a player that had been training with the team for one day uh, shows that there is a lot of talent in this team. There is a lot of uh, talent in the coaching staff and in the work together that brings us to almost making final with uh, someone subbing in a day before. So on that topic, it was disappointing. Losing in five games also uh, so close to the river sweep after a harsh start of the best of. Everybody was disappointed afterwards. But it is also a very strong sign for the future that we believe we do the things right. Coming in so close in those situations, having that group still performing together despite being through the whole issue in the week and two days before the game. We really believe that we have a strong team, we have a strong coaching staff all around that allows us to actually be very performing in the future also. They have their own style, you know how they play, full of chaos, you know how to counter them. Make sure that you talk together, you take everything slow. We did improvement this week in stream regarding how we played in this game, let's apply it now. Okay? We have to, take it to get a ticket, so we have to get a ticket for final, we have to get our revenge. Woo! Woo! Yes! Pushing the wave in, there was the risk that Elioyo could come down and gank them. So he has to cover for that. They then use the fact they've got the prio to gank Elioyo in his own jungle. And Elioyo was a little bit greedy there. Shale will meet up in the river. There's the quickness. Devour comes out. The charm still landing on Salabrov. He has a flash, but the Weaver's Wall will lock them in place as the damage comes down. And BDS get routed in the jungle. New too late to the party. Showing up an hour after it's finished, and he'll pay the price. Left with the bill by MD. Well, the story it may be for MDK, doubted by many. But their fans and their players knew what they were about. They are going to go 1 0 up and be two games from a date with G2. TP <laughs> behind. Counter TP used by Merwin. There's the package that weighs MDK. Alvaro hooks back in and he'll pay. For the fight with his life, Shale though rooted up a super stands on the front line to see some system get the time in the trigger seeds are keeping super very healthy now. But Gawi dives onto the back line. Ice unable to get into the fight. ETP behind, as you say, MDK starts to retreat, BDS looking for their play, but Scary flashes away, they're going to try and lock up the Emperor, he's stunned and shut out by Nuke, two kills over the BDS, MDK. When Mad Lions went on to win back to back. 2021, so Special Fisher used on oh. ice, he doesn't have oh the match, he doesn't have the time to get away, and Alvaro finds the pick on the enemy AD carry, and now MDK begins to open up, the Feather Storm used aggressively, as Nuke is at a 
victimized by MDK. Merwin looking for more. Merwin chasing Genex down underneath the inhibitor tower. And MDK might just look. Trigger seeds a warning for, M uh, for BDS as MDK break open the base. They'll take the Nexus and they are one game. person I ever want to see pilot ever serial in this league. This man has been absolutely incredible on a three kills lap. Genex under the tower. 5v3 begins to erupt. The quickness coming out. Genex able to survive a good charm. Out from LeBron as well as they locked down for the Empress. Divide comes out and MDK have just gifted BDS a kill under the tower. That's two. They're looking for three as Merwin cannot escape. A beautiful reaction play from BDS. Shao goes forward, Alvaro locked up, True Shop Rush goes wide, the Queen is onto the back line, and now perhaps Genex can get in there as well! And they've caught out Super! The shutdown to Ice and the Oil for second! And clear the minion wave, Alvaro on his way out again! Genex with the bomber to take us into game five! Yes. Inside the bio, on some aspect, you get dead calm, no one tilted, we were still there mentally, and there is a lot to get from this bio if we if we tackle it the right way, right? Like this is to show us that there is no, it's not about how, how we start, it's about how we learn from like our mistakes, and from game to game we we improved a bit on draft, on game, and at the end we were matching them when after two games it could seem that we are not there, right? So good job. Again, be proud of you. Conditions were not easy. And on next split, we'll do better. But I think if you look long, long term, last year, our winter is not... Like we are not the top three team. Right now we are. We showed a lot of stuff. So good job. And thank you, Genax, for being here. Like. You had what, 24 hours to prepare yourself, come, scream, like the situation is so tough for you, but I think you played super, super well. Thank you. It was just a winter split, and I don't think it's like, especially with the situation, it's not a result to be ashamed of. And I think the, 
amount of hard work that goes into this team, I can see that this will be successful and this will be a learning more than for other teams because losing earlier is harder and um, I think you guys are gonna be really great and yeah, should only aim for the top. I think uh, G2 is the only actual opponent and yeah, I'm very happy that I was allowed to play my champions as well. Even though I dropped the ball in the last game, I'm still happy about it. So uh, thank you guys as well. Thank you, Jules. Thank you, Jules.